In Ireland, just outside the town of Clara, County Offaly, lives a young couple with the most remarkable story to tell. Ronan and Emma Lally own a small farm that they run alongside their day jobs. They have a lovely collection of animals, but wanted some ducks to complete the picture. So they got in some fertilized eggs. On the day they hatched, Ronan went to check on them, but couldn't find the ducklings in the barn. Within seconds of that, a cat jumped down from a pigeonhole within the shed over there. And uh, I kind of put one and one together, and I just presumed that the, the cat had swallowed up the ducklings. At this stage, they were missing for about six hours, so Ronan thought there was no hope at all. After searching around the farm, they eventually found the ducklings. But unfortunately, the cat, Della, had got there first. I ended up catching the cat with a duck in her mouth at this stage and um, it really looked, Ronan was like, she's going to kill the duck. I was thinking, oh no, yeah. we're only after getting them back and now she's going to eat them right in front of us. Then, Emma noticed something unusual. I was like, Ronan, she's not actually forcefully holding this duck. That's when the amazing thing happened. We put the, the cat down, uh, put the ducklings down and then all of a sudden the three little ducklings waddled straight underneath the cat. The cat lay down on her side, put her paw over one of the little ducklings and was kind of nursing the duckling in towards us. So we were, I mean, just absolutely blown away with this. Because normally cats would eat little small birds, but it was, it, was, it, was just, it was awesome. It was just incredible to see it. She was um, very content at this stage. She was purring and she was really loving towards the ducklings. When I was petting her down, um, I noticed that she actually had given birth to three kittens only within an hour or so beforehand. It was a very lucky coincidence for the ducklings that the cat found them just after giving birth herself. For a narrow window of a couple of hours, mothering hormones will have been coursing through her body, causing her to love and nurture any small, warm, furry creature she found next to her. But it was when they came to move the unusual family into a safer spot that they got an even greater surprise. As soon as we lifted up the cat, uh, that's when we were totally amazed because the ducklings were actually latched on to the, to the cat's nipple, so... They were hanging from her. <laughs> yeah, it was very bizarre. Duck mums don't produce milk and ducklings are born ready to find their own food and water from their surroundings. So to see them suckling a cat is extraordinary. Experts can only guess that their natural foraging instinct calls them to come upon the milk as an unexpected food source. And their desire for warmth and comfort kept them close to their foster mother. Ronan was keen to separate the ducks, fearful the cat's predatory instincts might kick back in. But Emma, being a midwife, recognized something that she regularly sees at work. Before long, the ducklings started to outgrow the kittens and gain their independence, something the cat wasn't so happy with. These ducks, her yellow kittens, were a lot more active and she found it hard to control them. She was trying to bring them back underneath her and say, now be good like your brothers and sisters. Several weeks later, the kittens are still small and the ducks, although independent, still have an attachment to their surrogate mum. So it would seem that this rare coincidence of a cat giving birth just as the ducklings were making their first steps into the world resulted in this remarkable situation. Filled with an instinct to mother small furry creatures, the cat ignored any natural urge to eat the ducklings and took them on as her own.